Hello everybody, I'm Mike with Omega Survival and Exploration, and this is the Bark River Canadian Camp 2. It's an A2 tool steel. It has the natural canvas micarta handles. Its overall length is 13 inches. The blade length is 8 inches. The Rockwell hardness is 58 to 60. The blade thickness is 0.187 inches thick. It weighs 13 ounces, and it's made in the USA. Here's a nice up close of the sheath. Tons of eyelets, you could attach all kinds of stuff to that. That's why I like them. You could piggyback a smaller knife. Here's the knife. Very, very, very sharp. This is probably one of the sharpest bark rivers I've actually ever gotten stock. It's got that super high Scandivex grind that comes to a really thin edge and it's amazingly sharp. So enough of the boring stuff. Let's get out into the field and build a shelter. Good afternoon everybody. I'm Mike with Omega Survival and Exploration and today we're going to be building a shelter with the Canadian Camp 2 from Bark River Knives. Very primitive looking bush knife. It's one of my favorite knives. It's a medium sized chopper. About a quarter inch thick almost. A really high Scandivex grind. And I love the curve to it. Excellent knife. So stick with me and we're gonna build this shelter. Give you a little bit of an up close on what I'm going to be using to build this shelter today. I'm just going to be using the Canadian Camp 2, an A2 tool steel, and some 100 pound test tarred bank line. That's it. Just to give it a quick uh, baton here. Nice dry piece of wood. A rule of thumb. More like common sense is I wouldn't baton anything much thicker than the width of the blade. Try to stay under that. Try to stay just under the width of the blade. This really high scandy mix great as a wedge to baton and because that grind is so high it's also a great carver because it gets really narrow at the tip at the very edge of the blade And it also has enough weight behind it to be a decent chop carver. So just to give you a little bit of an up close on what this knife can do. But today I'm going to stick with building a shelter with this knife, so stick with me. I'm sure there's a thousand ways to build a shelter, maybe more. There's pretty much endless possibilities on what you can do to build a shelter, but this is just how I build them. I find a dead branch that's on a Y. And I just simply take the branches off. I 
always chop away from myself. Chop this bottom piece into a semi spike. You just keep going around it. And I try to work with what's around me. So, another thing with the shelter building is the smaller the shelter is and the smaller you can take it, um, the more the chances are it'll hold your body heat in better. So, you just take a little bit of bank line. I wedge it in between these two trees. Put the Y on the finger side. I'm just gonna make a loop. as straight as I can. I love bank line because it really holds a good knot. Cut my piece. piece is as straight as I can get it. my crossed member and then I'm just going to take branches preferably longer and put them over the top on an angle and then I'm going to put a support branch across them all for now I'll be putting more I'm building a frame to hold a pile of leaves and sticks and brush that I'm going to throw over and in it for insulation. No, the Bark River is not on the ground, it's on a stick. I would never put it straight on the ground for fear of chipping the blade. They're not invincible.
cut all your branches for the shelter. If you need more, just cut more. Having a good knife like this in your pack that's heavy enough to chop like this right for a knot. And light enough to carve is an excellent knife, especially one you could depend your life upon. It's just built so well. I threw that knot. Leaving branches. This is going to help put the leaves. The more gnarly, the better. Like this thing. What you do is you get a stick that branches off into a Y and you just cut it down. And you just start piling stuff up. Take the branches off with the leaves on it. Throw it all on there. Just keep filling it in. There's the bottom here.
depending on how deep you are in the woods, your area, the demographics, if there's predator animals or not. It's real easy to just carve yourself something for some form of protection. You don't have to be Mr. Survivalist USA for this either. It's pretty simple, common sense stuff. I tell you one thing though, you want a blunt but sharp tip. You harden that tip up a little bit, it's less likely to break. Keep it in a flame for a few minutes. When it gets a little blackened, you can just go like this on a stone. It kind of draws the moisture out and it compresses the wood. When you do this, everybody, I'm Mike with Omega Survival and Exploration. This was my shelter build with the Bark River Canadian Camp 2 and A2 tool steel. Absolute delight to work with. Those finger grips just lock it in place. It's got just enough heft on it to chop. Nothing ridiculous, you know, like a redwood or something like that. But for anything you would need it for in a small camp, it can't beat this. Excellent knife. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.